Hey guys, welcome back to Heart Breathings. Today I'm going to be taking you through a weekly plan with me and showing you how I plan in my custom pages. I just kind of slowed it down because I went through this really quickly, but I have a task list at the beginning of every week that shows exactly what I'm going to be working on based on the three goals that I've set. And the planner that I've designed is a goal setting planner. So it takes you through how to set your main three goals for the quarter. And then you write out your task list at the beginning of every week. You also write out where your social media numbers begin so that you can see how they grow. There's a section for your blog, for any other appointments, as well as for your work in progress. And now here is the weekly spread that I'll be taking you guys through. I just picked out some washi tapes that I wanted to use for the week. And then I'm just taking it out of the binder because it's so much easier to actually like decorate the pages once they're out. Um, also, guys, I have this sticker binder that I've created. I've literally spent the entire weekend working on this, but I downloaded a bunch of stickers that I've purchased from Etsy, from printable shops. So I'm going to be using some of those and pulling those in in the coming weeks. I also have a ruler that I love, my favorite tool pens that I just picked up, and a stencil. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the weekly spread in my custom design pages. And so you guys will get another chance to see kind of how I use these weekly pages. And I yay, get to use these um, Halloween washies and stuff that I've collected over the years and don't get to use. Well, I guess I could use them any time of year, but they're especially nice to use this time of year. So a little bit of a black and gold theme with the gold spider webs this week, but it's really fun to just use that washi that you don't get to use very often and um, I'll probably be doing a little bit of Halloween decorating for the most of the month of October just because I enjoy Halloween so much but um, I will link this little purple ruler down below for anybody who's interested in it. it I have absolutely loved it it actually came in a pack of I think four so there's a purple a pink a green one and maybe a yellow one and they're just like tiny little metal rulers but they've been great for like pulling off the washi for measuring things and they're small and light enough to put into your planner so I just tuck them into that front pocket and I really really liked them and they were super cheap off of Amazon so I will link that down below and then this pin is the tool gel pen with the needle point tips 0.5 I think tip and I absolutely am loving these pens right now even though I won't I don't think that my handwriting looks the best in this plan with me, but just hopefully ignore that. So in the left hand top corner box, I'm able to put my work in progress, which I'm still working on Deceiving Darkness, which is coming out October 29th. Um, and then I'm working on a short story called One Wish. I'm going to be editing that up this week. Then I have a little bit of a habit tracker that I added there into the notes section. So I'm going to be tracking meditation, whether I hit my word count, and whether I post in my Facebook group this week. And then those bottom boxes with the check boxes, I like to use those for social media. Of course, you can use them for anything you want, but I use them for social media. So I know... For example, that I'm posting chapters of my book, Sorrow's Gift, to Wattpad every day. So I went ahead and wrote which chapters are going up each day. And you'll see that I don't actually pre-plan most of my social media tonight, but I will probably sit down and do that on Monday morning. Um, but I like to go ahead and kind of know what I'm going to be posting. And then if I don't pre-plan it, then I'll just jot throughout the week like what I did post so I can track whether or not I've been posting. And that helps me like stay on track in terms of posting to my Facebook group, posting to my Instagram and things like that. Cause for a couple weeks there, I didn't post much at all to my social media cause I just kind of needed a break. But this is one good way to see at a glance, like whether or not I've posted. All right, so planning on Monday. So with this particular system, since I have daily pages, I don't actually plan hour by hour on these day little columns. All I do is take tasks from the columns that I had written previously and sort of assign them today. So this isn't necessarily a chronological part of what I'm going to be doing in my day, but it just kind of is sort of a to-do list of, hey, these are the things that are going to be most important to do on Monday. But what I found when I only had a weekly view was that I would plan out the week and then let's say like at the top there on Monday, I put update files and upload all paperbacks. Well, if something happens on Monday and I don't have time to do that, then 
I've got the entire week already planned out on my weekly view, where do I move that to? So unless I was using erasable pens, which I do not like to use, or unless I was only planning as I go, there would be no way to modify my schedule to say, okay, now I need to do this uh, paperbacks on Tuesday or Wednesday. And that's one of the things that I loved about bullet journaling. But what I didn't love about bullet journaling was just how much time it took for me to make the pages look really good for me. And I've mentioned this on my channel before, but if my planner looks pretty or I'm able to use pretty stickers and pretty things like that, then I get more motivated to actually use my planner. And with a bullet journal, I just felt like it took so much effort to make it look good because I'm not, I don't have beautiful handwriting. I don't really, uh, write or draw very well so I need structure so this planner was something that I designed hopefully to kind of bridge the gap between a bullet journal and you know needing that planner structure but needing it to be something that has daily pages that's one of the reasons why I loved the Hobonichi as much as I did because it was very similar to that and I sort of uh, designed my planner with what I loved about the Hobonichi in mind um, but the Hobonichi didn't have some of the other things that I like, like that weekly overview place to put your tasks. So um, this is just something that is working for me. But you can see there on Monday, I've got my writing goal. I've got that I'm going to edit this plan with me that you're listening to or watching now. And then I'm going to work on a blog post for Thursday. I've also got a call meeting with a business mentor this afternoon. Then on Tuesday, I've got another word count goal, and then I'm going to be working on some sheets that you guys will be able to download on Thursday that will be some word count trackers that will be some free printables for you, so I'm going to be designing those. And then it's so crazy, but like I ordered a bunch of things, so I've got several things coming in, and it just so happens that they're all coming on Tuesday, so I put a little happy mail delivery sticker there because... I'm going to be getting a lot of mail on Tuesday, so this is going to be a super exciting day for me. Um, and I probably will film an unboxing for what I'm getting, some of the stuff I'm getting in the mail on Tuesday. It's super fun. And then I also added this little But First Coffee sticker, and this is one of the only stickers that I did not actually print out, as well as that emoji sticker on Monday. Um, but this little But First Coffee came from Stick With Me Shop, and her stickers are so, so cute. I love them so much. All right, so then on Wednesday, I am probably going to be going out to write at Barnes & Noble with some of my local friends. I am super, super lucky in that most of the year, ever since NaNo, a lot of the people that I met during NaNo that are local writers here in the Charleston area have been meeting up at the Barnes & Noble on Rivers Avenue on Wednesdays in the morning. And, it, you know, sometimes it's only two of us, sometimes it's five or six of us, but it's been so good to have that group of local writers to rely on and go meet up with. That's been just amazing. I'm so grateful for it. So I'll probably be meeting with them on Wednesday. And then also I'm going to be working on recording the video that will go up on Thursday. So I'll probably record that on Wednesday afternoon because I'm definitely not ahead on videos, but that's okay. So I also just went ahead and added that I'm going to post that video on Thursday as well as some other meetings and stuff that I have for this group I'm a part of called Freshly Implemented on Thursday. Then I also went to the notes section and marked real quick that the new moon is on Monday. So that's always something good for me. I am very much a believer in energy that comes along with the moon cycles. So I like to do uh, some different rituals on the night of the new moon, just some like meditation, light a candle, welcome new things into my life, new beginnings. So I made sure to mark that on my calendar. And then on Thursday, again, I went back and added that I'm going to be working on the undated version as well as the quarter one 2019 version of my planner and if you are interested in this planner and you're an author and you'd like to check it out it is linked down below this is like my one thing I have for sale on Etsy I just opened my own Etsy shop and so far I'm getting a lot of really great feedback on the planner so thank you guys so much to everyone who has purchased it there will be an undated version as well as um, some of the 2019 versions going up soon so look out for those. Then I've got family beach time on Wednesday evening. As long as I get the recording and everything done in time, we're going to go and spend a couple hours at the beach on Wednesday afternoon. Then I found this little sticker that I put on Thursday afternoon. This is answer comments and it's a little keyboard and I love that because 
Um, I've been falling a little bit behind on comments because it's just a lot of work to keep up with two YouTube channels, my blog, all of my social media and stuff. So I'm doing my best to respond to every comment, but I'm going to set aside some time specifically on Thursday to go back and try to hit all the comments that I haven't hit yet. And then on Thursday evening, I'm going to be practicing my presentation because on Friday I will be taking a road trip to Raleigh and I'm going to be, um, speaking at the HCRW or Heart of Carolina Romance Writers all day workshop. And I am so excited to be a keynote speaker for this workshop along with Sabrina Jeffries. It's gonna be amazing. So if you're in the Raleigh area, I hope that you will come join us. It's gonna be an amazing day. It's gonna be really fun. But I'm speaking on how to thrive as an indie author, talking about not only the marketing side of marketing and strategy side of being an indie in today's market, but also the mental game of indie publishing. So it's going to be really great. So I just marked on my planner that I'm going to be listening to book three of the Wheel of Time. Guys, I've been reading the Wheel of Time series. It's incredible, but these books are so long. Even the audio books are like 30 something hours long. And so it's a really good opportunity to listen to a big chunk of that book. Uh, driving all the way to Raleigh and all the way home. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. Then I'm also marked that I'm going to be writing in my hotel room. So that's going to be awesome. Hopefully I can get there early enough to get about five to 7,000 words. And I might do some kind of write with me or something. So be on the lookout for maybe a YouTube live or something coming up next Friday or this coming Friday. Then I just marked the all day workshop on Saturday and the title of the workshop and then I wanted to make sure to get pictures or video of like what I take with me when I travel if that's something you guys are interested in seeing um, let me know because I was thinking it might be cool to kind of show like what I bring in my laptop bag and so forth like when I'm actually writing on the go uh, I also have a writing retreat coming up next week so that's going to be like four night writing retreat so I think I might also do some um like a little bit of a vlog of what I do when I'm on a writing retreat, if you guys are interested in seeing that. All right, so then on Sunday, I'm gonna to try to wake up early and get a couple thousand words in before I leave. Hopefully I'm gonna also get a chance to see some of my friends from when I used to live in Raleigh and stay um, you know, in touch with them and then head home in the afternoon and listen to Wheel of Time on the way home, which will be another large chunk of that book. And then in the evening, I'm gonna rest and plan for the following week. So that is pretty much my entire week ready to go. And again, um, most of these stickers I got from a couple different sticker shops on Etsy that I was able to just download and print them myself, except for, like I said, there's one that But First Coffee is from Stick With Me Shop, and then there's a couple little cute like bald looking kids that is an emoji which is from the coffee monsters co and this is my first time ordering from her shop but oh my gosh they are so cute okay guys so this is a slow glance look at the completed spread i know that my handwriting is not the best this week but i am pretty pleased with how it came out overall i am just now getting the feel for using these new stickers. So this was the first time I got a chance to use them. So I think I'll try to incorporate them more. Um, one of the great things about actually buying printable stickers off of Etsy is like most of these boxes are custom designed for the Erin Condren, but my, and Erin Condren is an, an inch and a half across and mine are only an inch and a quarter in this custom planner in the A5. So I was able to resize them for how I wanted it to look. So that was nice. And then here's just a glance at my daily page. So a lot of you have asked like, what do I do with the daily page? So on the left hand side there, I have a schedule. So this is just my basic schedule for how my time is going to go. And then at the top, I have my top three priorities. And then in the big box in the middle, I have basically what equates to my to-do list. And then I track my sprints in the bottom left and then a place for any notes that come out throughout the day. So like how I was feeling or any journaling or anything I want to do. And then here's another glance at that tasks page. So at the beginning of every single week, you can write down your tasks based on your top three goals for the quarter. And of course, in this planner, I walk you through how to set those goals. And then there's, you know, a section for any appointments or other tasks, your work in progress, your growth tracker, your blog tracker, and um, just any other place like to mark your 
like top priorities for the week. So I like to schedule out the tasks that I'm going to do or figure out which tasks I'm working on. And then in the weekly spread, I actually decide which days I'm going to try to tackle those tasks as well as tracking my social media. And then on the daily page is when I get very detailed about what I'm going to do for that day. And that way I can stay flexible. So like if something that I planned to do on Monday doesn't get done, then on Monday night when I'm setting up Tuesday, I can just very easily move that or migrate that item over to Tuesday's to-do list. So that's how I like to plan. And I love having that weekly overview and then having that daily page. So for me, this really, really works. So let me know in the comments, do you like having a daily page or the weekly is enough for you? Um, what I've found is that a lot of the daily planners, like Simplified Planner, the Day Designer, stuff like that, they don't actually have a weekly overview. And that was one of the main complaints I had about the Simplified Planner. They have the monthly page and then a daily page, but nothing that was like a weekly overview. And I really love to see my week at a glance. So my solution was to design my own pages. But um, if you found a planner that you love, I hope that you'll mention it in the comments because it's a very personal thing, like trying to find the perfect planner. And hopefully at this point I have found planner piece and I'm enjoying it for now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this plan with me and hopefully you've enjoyed seeing the progress or progression of me learning how best to plan my weeks because it really is a progression you just you know you keep learning as you go and it's ever evolving but hopefully we're all moving towards something that's going to get us a little bit more productivity and a little bit more joy in our lives so all right guys that is all i have for you for today i hope you have an amazing week and i will be back on thursday talking about how to track your word count, as well as have a free downloadable printable for you that you can use hopefully during NaNoWriMo or anytime that you're going to be tracking your word counts in your novels. So, all right guys, that's it for now. And I will see you on Thursday. Bye.